So we're just setting off on some missions that we got to do today, but first, of course, and most importantly, food. So we're off to grab some food. Favorite place, broccoli food market, uh, and then some adventures after that. We're off to get some food. This is gonna be good. So do we get Mike and Ollie, Mother Flipper, various other burger things, some Filipino food, or over here somewhere, uh, pizza. Yay, my favorite lamb wrap in the world. This is gonna be good. It's such a sad time when the lamb wrap is gone. So we've been on a mission recently of uh, hitting all the outdoor gyms in London. Um, I haven't been filming them, but I should start just to show you what they're like <laughs> and rate them. We've just found that there's one right near our house, so I'm just going to go and check it out. So let's go and see what it's like. Hopefully it's got loads of good equipment because it's like a minute's walk away. So I think we found it and it looks quite well equipped. Let's go and check out what it's got. So we've now just come down to like Borough, London Bridge area and as we've just got here we've spotted another outdoor uh, gym. I'm going to go and check this one out too. So the Sky Gardens are just up here and it's amazing. If you book in advance you can go up and there's a little forest up there and you get brilliant views of London. Uh, I think there's quite a queue to book so I think we had to go about a month in advance and I wish I'd taken the camera when I went. So from our little local food market to our big local food market, we're down in Borough again, checking out all the amazing things on this one.
loads of people to design the insides of these things. I don't know what they are, but they've got uh, Stephen Hawking, Spielberg, Sophie Dahl, loads of people to design them and they're hidden all over London. So what we're going to do is while we're in this area and we've got a little bit of time to spare, we're going to go see if we can find a few of them. I think there's about four on this route uh, out of, I don't know how many, maybe 40, 50 there are, but let's go and try and find them. They look pretty cool. So we completely failed at finding the first one. Couldn't see it in London Bridge Station, but we've just arrived here by the uh, Mayor's Building and the Tower of London, and we've just spotted uh, number two. So this one is done by Justin Rose, who seems to be uh, a golfing champion. He's probably pretty famous, just I know nothing about golf. <laughs> guessing this one is by uh, it's the dream of infamous blogger vlogger and YouTube star Zoella <laughs> So the next one we've heard is up on Tower Bridge, which happens to be up at the moment. I've only ever sat in that traffic waiting for the bridge to come down before. I've never actually walked here and seen the bridge up when I've been walking. This one is Sadiq Khan, the mayor's dream, uh, and someone seems to have smashed it. So I don't know if that's like a, a metaphor or a sign for the future, but maybe his dream won't turn out too well. We found another one. So we managed to find four of the dream things. I like it, I'd like to see some of the others. When I go for meetings or I've got work across London, I'm gonna see if I can grab a few over the next few weeks. I think they're there for weeks, it might only be days though. And now, even though it's really sunny and it was beautiful walking along South Bank, we have to head home because there's work to be done again. And today I'm in one of my favorite pairs of trainers ever. Very limited edition special Nike Dunks from a Dave's Quality Meats in New York. They had them specially made for the shop and I love the material, look. Dave's Quality Meats. I'm also in my favorite t-shirt. There we go, the Beatnik No Request t-shirt, what every DJ needs. So, very quick turnaround at home. Got all my DJ stuff, got all, everything packed and ready. And now I have to do a two hour drive down to Hastings on the south coast where I'm gonna go and DJ. So I drive past this car all the time and I just had to stop off and get a shot of it because I think it's so beautiful. to Hastings now. So I just got a call from the organizers of this event tonight um, and they've asked me to please no filming because they have some high profile guests there. So sadly I won't be able to film any of the event which is a shame because it looks like it's going to be brilliant. across Europe, Scotland, the Isle of Wight Festival, to Glastonbury, to Ireland, France, Germany, Spain, Italy, Wales, Cornwall, 
Manchester, Leeds, Norwich. Norwich, is that? Well, yeah, Norfolk, that was a crazy night.